hello in this video I will show you how you can make a transparent or semi-transparent or translucent powder just like this Shiba Miyuki I just released Uh, so because this, this is done, I will use uh, another example to show you So before we start uh, There's some thing you can do on Fighter Factory So if you are using Fighter Factory 3.6 So this is 3.6 You have to change something For You go to Tools Graphics Render. You, you do not use OpenGL, you do not use DirectX, you use Native Painter. By selecting this, you can preview the semi-transparent or translucent effects in Fighter Factory. Or else, you cannot see it. If you are using a older version, which is uh, 3.5 you don't have to change anything it will directly show you the translucent effects okay. so in this tutorial I will use another example which is a character not by me uh, I will show you the Kuroyuki Hime by Kuhaku okay. I hope I pronounced the name correct So this is this she is and uh, she is uh, using a uh, quite organized palette which is great I suspect this is the official palette uh, <coughs> actually in the official game she have a translucent wing uh, but this wing is not attached to the main body so it's quite difficult to implement this so I guess uh, uh, he didn't include this wing the wing actually is translucent uh, for this sprite actually nothing need to be transparent uh, translucent uh, but just for example I will maybe pick uh, I pick this palette okay. I pick this palette and make sure if you are using the latest fighter factory you choose native painter as your render okay so the translucent effect only available for Morgan 1.1 not 1.0 or not one way Morgan only 1.1 so this character if you, you want to use this kind of effect you cannot use 1.0 here you have to be using 1.1 so after the change, it cannot be run un under 1.0 already. You have to use 1.1. So after change the code, the compatibility to 1.1. Another thing you need to change is the sprites version. So or SFF version. So here, so here says one uh, 2.0. So you, you cannot use 2.0 anymore, you have to upgrade. You click here, you click here, and select this one. Select Morgan 1.1, select OK. okay. After this, then you can start to change. So let's click this button. This is the sprite editor. Mm, let's put some parts of her in transparent. Uh, because actually nothing should be transparent here, but I just use her as an example. Maybe the dress. Okay, it's here.
Okay, I just use this dress here. Mm. So, is it? Yes, it's correct. So I'm changing these parts. So after you upgrade the code to 1.1 and the SFF to 1.1, you can access this value. So instead of a RGB value for a RGB value, you have an alpha value. So alpha value 255 means uh, opaque, no transparency at all. But if you you want transparent or translucent, you give another value like 128. That means uh, half transparent. You give this color all a alpha value 128. And after the change, click this one. It says commit change to the current palette. So you oh, commit the change. Oh, uh, I changed the default one. Uh, I say I want to change this one. Okay, let's do it again. Maybe we can even be more aggressive. Give uh, even. smaller number the number I suggest is a, any number power of uh, 2 or power of 8 okay you see commit change to current power okay you commit a change and here the sprites will have this star that means uh, it's there's something changed so you click save save file which is the sff then you browse to here you see it's translucent and fire up your movie and try You see now she is like a ghost. <laughs> okay, so this is the effect. Uh, there's another thing I want to highlight is uh, how you can save this uh, transparent or translucent palette to a file. So one thing I notice is uh, for example this this palette already have this alpha value but if you save you save save to a file like act file file.act okay you saved then you load this file okay the value is gone you see the value is gone so basically there's no way you can save to a palette for this kind of uh, translucent effect but there's a I find a another workaround so let's do not commit any changes reopen so actually we can save this palette and into a file and load it later so you can do by save current image to a file save to a image which is a png image you must be choosing this png image and you save how maybe five okay 
So basically you save an image, name is Pao number 5. You can open this image and you see the same effect. But this is not just an image, this is also a power actually. Uh, let's see if I load learn translucent the learn translucent one is look like this and if you open this how number five PNG yes back you see the PNG can act like a pilot file then you say commit change to current pilot Then this is how you can save this uh, this palette with alpha value to a file, which is a PNG file. Uh, another thing I want to mention is uh, this kind of uh, PNG file is uh, is not recognized by Photoshop actually. Okay, I open the old Photoshop. I drag this in. Yes, it's you see it's a uh, translucent, but Photoshop doesn't support doesn't support this kind of uh, palette with the alpha value. So Photoshop treat this image as RGB color as no palette at all. You see, it's not indexed. It should be indexed, right? But Photoshop treat this as a normal PNG. So uh, uh, this is it.